If there's something strange in Gen 1 neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Latios Hunter! That sounded better in my head. But anyways, hey everybody, Ding Majima here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Soul Silver version. In the last episode, we did a little bit of side questing, looking around towns and helping some people out find their lost items and whatnot. And we also caught a Snorlax. That was also pretty cool. And now in this episode, we're gonna continue off from where we left off from doing those side quests because upon helping the copycat girl get her item back, we were informed by Champion Steve of the Hoenn region, none other than himself, that the Pokemon Latios is for some reason roaming around the Kanto region and he wants to find out why. And also, I want to find out why by catching it. Which is what we're gonna be trying to do today. So that being said, we got a little bit of prep work to do beforehand though, because as you may already figured out, this thing is a roaming legendary Pokemon, just like Raikou and Entei, meaning they are going to attempt to run away from you every single chance they get. So you need a plan to get around this, or you're going to have a headache trying to catch this thing. And my plan revolves around the move Mean Look, which as you guys saw before when we were catching Entei and Raikou, was a move that Gengar had, which means that Pokemon can no longer run away after being hit by Mean Look, which is going to be extremely important for this. And to get Mean Look back onto my Gengar, we have to reteach it because unfortunately we got rid of it earlier. And this is going to be the last time we're going to be using uh, Mean Look in the entirety of the game, basically. So once after we teach it this one more time, we are going to be good. We have to go. We don't have to teach it any more time, so we'll be a okay after this. So you're probably wondering, what am I doing exactly right now, going to Waters of Million City? The answer to that is because there is actually a Heart Scale out here, and I uh, didn't actually know about this. I had to look it up because I was like, I don't know where any other Heart Scales are. So, uh, I'm kind of boned, but I looked some up, there's good places online where you can look for locations of these things, and apparently, in this boat of all things, we're gonna become freaking pirates to steal from boats, there's a heart scale. <laughs> what a weird place to put a heart scale, but that means I'm a certified pirate, baby, we're looting ships. Oh, yar har har and all that stuff. <laughs> I love pirates. That being said, though, now that we got ourselves a heart scale, we're all set to go over to... Good old Blackthorn City and reteach Mulek onto our Gengar, because like I said, we're gonna be needing this if we want any chance of catching this Latios. Uh, let's see. Um, who's Fly again? Uh, I had a Pokemon Fly. Oh yeah, it's good old. Was it you? Yeah, it was you. Good old Farfish, our tiny little bird that can somehow carry us across the entire region. But eh, I'm not gonna question it. It's end of logic. You just roll with it. You know how it is at this point. We've been through this. So that being said, we got a little bit of prep work out of the way. Now on to the rest of the prep work. We're gonna go fly over to Blackthorn City. Off we go to Johto! Right on over. Oh right, this is like I should probably explain. So there is a weird mechanic here. It's not really that like annoying. Well, it is a little bit annoying, but it's not the biggest deal. But basically, if you're in the Kanto region, you can't fly directly to the Johto region, probably because your Pokemon gets very tired. So the idea of what you want to do instead is you want to fly over here to Victory Road. And then you want to just fly again and go over to the other side of the map, because, uh, reasons. There we go, one fly out of the way, and number two. And obviously, if you want to get around this, you don't, you know, like, if you want to get around this, and you have done the Magnet Train side quest, you can just use the Magnet Train, it'll take you right over there right away, so... That's probably the main appeal of doing the side quest, but like I said, honestly, it's not that big of a hassle. All it makes, is do, all it makes you do is you have to use fly twice, which isn't that bad, so, I don't know. Personally, I don't think it's that big a deal. And we can certainly handle it. I think, if I remember, this is the house we want to go into. Yes, it is. I think it's you, right? You are the move. No, you know, you're the move the leader. Okay, we don't want to delete moves. No, thank you. We want to go over here, and we want to give him a heart scale, and go over here to our lovely Gengar. And Mean Look should be right there. Perfect. Now, the question is, which move am I going to get rid of? And honestly, I don't think it's a question. I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of Thunder, because even though Thunder has been quite useful, we can always teach it again if we go buy a TM at the TM store, like at one of the uh, grocery store Not grocery stores, I'm thinking of department stores, duh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We can always replace it. And like I said, this is basically going to be the last time we ever use Mean Look, so... It's totally fine. And there we go. With that being said, though, our prep work is basically complete to go hunt this thing. So that being said, let's see if I can go over there to Kanto and get looking, because uh, just like Raikou and say, these Pokemon are going to be running around all over the place, so we need to go find a good place to go look out for them. To stake out, if you will. Be like a real detective. On a mission. To catch a flying bird... thing. Alrighty, we're back over here in Saffron City, and honestly, I don't even really need to get rid of Farfetch, because like, it's only going to be basically Gengar in this fight, even though I'm not going to lie to you, if you know Latios and Latias, uh, having a Gengar against these things 
maybe not the best idea because uh, their type is not good against our type in this scenario. Normally, it'd be fine because, you know, Gengar... Well, I'll explain more when we actually see the Pokemon. I don't want to spoil too much about them if you don't know a lot about them. But let's just say this will be an interesting time trying to catch them. Alrighty, so just like Raikou and Entei, we gotta figure out a good place to stake out. And personally, when it comes to Latios and Latias, I kind of prefer the going into the Saffron City. Because it has four different routes you can go into from each side, which means you have a higher chance of getting near it. Although, at the same time, because they're all, the city is so big, it could also be kind of a disadvantage to you as well, because you have to run around all over the place. So, if I'm going to recommend any places, I'd recommend either Saffron City or maybe Cerulean City. But for now, we'll try Saffron City. And I think we will try with... Actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of annoying because we have to go in and out of these uh, passageways every single time. So maybe I'll just go over to Celadon City quickly, and we'll do it from there. That's probably for the better. Let's see, how's it looking? How far is she? Uh, it didn't move whatsoever. <laughs> Alrighty, it's a stubborn Latios, good to know. Go on up over this way, and propels back to war off. So I think we'll do it from here. I think it's a good spot to go for it. And it's moved a little bit, so just like Raikou and Entei, every single time you enter into a new area, you'll see a pop-up appear on the top of your screen. Uh, hello? Game? There you go. For some reason, Cerulean City is like really far out here. Yeah, every time you see that pop-up, that means a Pokemon will have moved, and you can just keep going over better like crazy to make it move a lot. So if you want to try and get near you, this is, my, in my opinion, the best way to do it. Although apparently Latios really likes being done all the way over there, because we are not getting it to move up here. Uh, it kind of moved. Getting a little closer. Okay, it apparently really likes that route down there or something. I don't know what's going on. Okay, it's moving up a little bit more. Okay, it's slowly coming up. It's a, it's a, it's a shy Latios. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta give it some time. It's a shy Latios. Oh, there we go. Now it's really moving. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, it's getting even closer. Okay, maybe it heard me. Oh my, it's getting really close now. Wow, okay, uh, Latios, if you want to come up here just a little bit more. Okay, it is very, very close. That's probably going to come up here very soon, right? Okay, it's going away again a little bit. And just in case, we're going to have Gengar in front of the party. There we go, nice and easy. And uh, I think I want to try going... Actually, this is kind of awkward, because now I think of it, this is the only grass in this route, and it has a freaking uh, cliff in front of it, so it's a little tricky to maneuver. So maybe... I shouldn't wait on this route. Maybe I should go find, like... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Here we go, guys. What I'm thinking instead of going on this side of Cerulean City, we'll try and make our stakeouts onto this side of Cerulean City. This will be a little easier. This way, there's nothing in the way. And cutoff point is right over here. It's a little bit big, but... Better than nothing. So now we go crazy looking for it. It's getting really freaking close. It's like a tiny little bit off. No, come back, please. Please, I want to be your friend. Come on. Don't leave me. Okay, eat kind of in the same place. Go away. Okay, it's kind of going back in circles. Okay, come on, Latios. Just move up. Come north. Come to the great land of Canada. Come on, you can do it. That's not Canada. Come over here, please. Okay, there you go. A little bit more north. Come on. Just a little bit more north. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. Just come on. Just a little bit more. Oh, wrong way. Opposite. Come on. No, it's going away. Come back. Please. Come on. No, you are doing so good. Come back, please. Okay, it's coming back. Come on, Latias. Come on. Oh my god, it flew so far. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, it went north, not the way I wanted, though. Okay, so I will try this for a little bit longer on camera, but at this rate, we'll probably have to cut and just come back whenever we get it, because like I said, this thing is completely random. You're meant to just you know play the game normally, and you'll eventually run into it, probably, like if your luck is good enough, but... Since we're looking, going on a manhunt for this thing, it's a little, you know, better to go about it like this way. But, you know. It has this drawback, sometimes you just have to sit there forever and pray to God you get to show up. Come on. 
I'll give it like five more tries. If I don't get it, then we'll we'll cut away until I finally get it because it's gonna show up eventually. It's just completely up to luck if I go if it's gonna be sooner or later. Although my luck is terrible, so it's gonna be later. <laughs> Come on. You know you wanna show up. You wanna be on camera. You wanna be a big shot. You know what I'm saying? You wanna you wanna show up for us, all the good people at home. All the wonderful people watching this, they want to see Latios, I want to see Latios, we all want to see you, Latios. So please, grace us with your presence. Apparently my speech just completely killed its mood because it's not moving anywhere. Okay, there we go, it's kind of moving again. Okay, three more tries. Let's see. One. Two. It's kind of getting closer. Three. Okay, it's really close. Maybe? Okay, I'll keep going a little bit longer. It's really close. There's a chance. Come on. You know you wanna. Apparently it does not. It's going to Johto, apparently. It just said, screw Canada. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, one more try. And... It hasn't moved at all. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let it move one more time and see where it goes. Okay, it said screw me went all the way to Johto. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, we'll cut away. I'll be right back when we finally find this thing, because it might take a while. Oh, shoot. Okay, it only took like a minute longer, but I think we might actually have it with us. Let's see. Yep, it's on Route 4 still. Okay, perfect. We have finally found it. Didn't it take too long? I kind of kind of got lucky. All right, so let's not screw this up. I'd save my game if I could, but I'm recording, so I'm not going to save my game. But if you guys are playing along with me, I highly recommend saving. That being said, let's see. And there we go. Wait, maybe? Maybe, maybe? That's definitely not a Latios. <laughs> okay, I, I for some reason, I thought that was its battle theme. It's definitely not. Actually, I don't even remember. Maybe it has the same battle theme as, like, normal Pokemon. I don't even remember, honestly. It's been a while. And that's another retire. Come on, Latios, really? Please. Don't make her look for you again. Come on. We were so we were doing so well. Come on. Okay. Still here. We have a chance. And It's a friggin' Spiro. Oh my god. Okay, we might be out of luck now. It might have left the area because normally it takes like two or three for it to leave. No, it's still here apparently. Come on. We have a chance still. I don't know why it's still here. I guess I got lucky. Or maybe it's not here and it's just trolling with me. I don't freaking know. This is weird. Now, I don't know for sure if this is actually or not because I've never had a problem with this when I was a kid. But maybe it's in a specific patch of grass that's out there and I can't go out that way. But all the times I was playing these games as a kid, every single time I just went onto the route itself and it was never a problem. So I don't think it's actually a factor. But who knows? Maybe it's like one of those theories that people came up with a Pokemon growing up. You know, like how if you match A, a Pokeball works better or something like that. Because all I'm getting is freaking Rattata. I don't want these rats. I want a dragon thing. There's no way it's still here, right? Okay, yeah, it's gone. Okay, too good to be true. I got lucky for it showing up so fast. I'll be right back. Okay, it took like another five minutes, but I eventually got to show up once again. Now this time, hopefully we don't get so unlucky and we actually get to find it this time, because, uh, yeah. That was a pain in the butt. And also, I thought about it some more, and I decided I am actually going to save my game, because not only will it help me actually catching this thing, but also because if I accidentally KO it, we are not going to get a second chance to try and catch it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to save our game just to be safe. Okay, that being said, let's try this once again. Oh, no, don't be a repeat. Please don't be a repeat. Manios is right over here. Come on, please. Pretty please. Maybe this route was like cursed or something. Maybe I just can't find on this route or something. I don't freaking know. Come on, please. Oh shoot, we got a pretty cool Pokemon. Not what I'm looking for, but I do like our buck a lot. Pretty cool. I don't know if any of you guys actually remember this, but there was a Pokemon X, like some sort of like fancy t-shirt company. That, okay, not only t-shirts, but like some shirts company that they did. And I actually got myself a Hawaiian Arbuck themed uh, shirt. It was actually really nice. 
Random trivia for you while I'm going insane looking for this thing. Come on, Latios, please! And we found his little brother. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't think we're gonna find it. It's probably gone, right? Yep, it's gone. Okay, we'll be back once again. Heavy sigh. Okay, after another 10 minutes, I finally got lucky enough again to actually have it show up. And as you can see, I've actually changed my location where we're hunting for it because I thought I had bad juju where I was. Because, I don't know, it just kept not showing up. So this time, there's only one patch of grass on this route. It's literally the shortest route of all time. This time, for sure, we'll find it. And if we don't, I'm gonna cry or something. I don't know. Come on. Latios, show yourself. So hey, free item, we'll take it. Get a mental herb. Interesting item. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but for now, we have top priorities. There you go. If you see that effect, that means you found the legendary Pokemon. This here is Latios. If you're playing Heart Gold version, you'll have Latios instead. Both are Dragon Sighting type, level 35, with the following move sets. Now, Latios and Latias, they're very similar in terms of what they like in, you know, type and whatnot. But however, Latios is more offensive and Latias is a little bit more defensive. So, outside of that though, they're pretty similar Pokemon. They're meant to be like twin Pokemon. So, there's a the reason that they look very similar to each other. Now, this thing being a second Dragon type means that it's going to be an interesting matchup for our Gengar. Because our Gengar is weak to second type being part Poison type. However, we're also super effective against it. And since this thing's only level 35, my Shadow Ball is absolutely going to destroy it, this thing. So we're going to be using Dream Meter instead. For some nice shift damage that hopefully will not do too much and be very easy to control. And the main reason why, uh, when we were looking for Entei and Raikou, why I told you that I would recommend using your... Uh, Master Ball and Raikou is because this thing is level 35. And at this point of the game, you're going to be much higher level than this thing. So... Catching it will not be nearly as bad as Raikou, when in the terms of Raikou, you'll very likely be underleveled compared to, uh, for Raikou compared to Latios, or Latias. So, in my opinion, Raikou, if you're going to use a Master Ball at any of the Roaming Legendary Pokemon, use it on him and not these two. That being said, though, they can still be an absolute pain to catch if, not come if you don't come prepared. But thankfully, one of my favorite Pokemon, Gengar, is very well prepared for catching these Roaming Pokemon. It's fast and has been look. Another good Pokemon you can... <gasps> Thank God I saved the game because that crit killed it. Oh my God, Gengar, you're an absolute monster, but at the worst time. Uh, well, that being said, though, uh, I guess we're resetting. Great. Oh, well, he's proud of himself, at least. <laughs> oh, he's running in the grass. Okay, that's kind of cute. I'm still mad at you, though. Okay, this time we actually got kind of lucky. It only showed up after like one or two minutes, so we actually got pretty lucky this time. And assuming I don't get one shot at Luster Purge, which is a signature move like I mentioned, I think we'll have a pretty good chance of catching it here. And however, if I do get one shot here, there is a good piece of advice I can recommend. If you want to go out back into the Dark Cave in uh, the Johto region, and look for a Pokemon called the Wobbuffet. The Pokemon Wobbuffet is a Psychic type, so it actually resists Luster Purge, and also has the ability Shadow Tag, which actually traps Pokemon. Which is basically a automatic mean look, which can be very helpful. That being said, though, I believe in Gengar, and apparently Gengar does not believe in me because we did not find this thing. What does that have to do with Gengar? I don't know, but I'm gonna blame it on him anyways because he's the only reason we uh, like had the gold look for this thing again because it got a critical hit. Please tell me he's still here. Okay, it's still here. We have one more shot. Let's leave the grass and come back in. And we're not gonna find it, are we? Oh my god, I freaking hate roaming Pokemon. Honestly, before this Let's Play, I didn't hate them that much. I was like, I didn't like them, but... After this Let's Play and my terrible luck on camera, I think I've decided I just absolutely hate them. That being said, back to the hunt. Okay, y'all know the drill. Fifth time's the charm, yada yada yada. We know the drill. Let's just get this over with. Come on, Gengar. Let us find this stupid thing already. Thank you, okay. This is our third time actually running into it, I believe. Or maybe fourth. I lost track. It's been a while. <laughs> We've been going at this for a bit now. But this time, we're going to go immediately for the mean look. Can't let it run away. We're going to try hypnosis it right away. And we get as many turns as possible to throw Pokeballs at it. And then we're going to go absolutely crazy. We miss. Just for refresh. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Hypnosis. 
landed. And hopefully it won't wake up in one turn like it's been doing all this time. I don't know why it's been waking up in one turn every single time, but it has. There we go. And now, Pokeball time. We got 26 Ultra Balls, a couple Dust Balls, and some Pokeballs. Now, normally I'd recommend using the Dust Balls, but as you can see, it's not quite nighttime yet in my game, so Ultra Balls is probably our best bet. Okay, come on, baby. No dice. Okay, that's fine. First one is fine. As long as we get it before I get gray hairs, I will be happy. Just let this be over with, please. It's the final roaming Pokemon. The moment we catch this, we never have to do this again. It's probably gonna wake up now. Oh, nope, still asleep. Okay, okay. A bit of karma for all the times I had terrible luck with this thing so far. I'll take it. Please. At least shake, come on, please. Give me some hope, you know? Keep broken out every single time. He goes for Dragon Breath, that's not the worst thing in the world. I'm just gonna keep going at it. I should be able to take a few, right? It's an instant paralyzed once again, but honestly, I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep throwing Pokeballs. I just want to catch this thing. I'm gonna take as much hits as I get before he uses Lesson Purge, because I might just die from it. One. Yeah, that's one, that's progress. Progress, I will take it, come on. He goes for Refresh, yes please, there you go. He's wasting his turns. Just please, for the love of God, get in the ball. Uh, please. I don't want to do this again. Keep wasting your turns, though. I like to see this. I'm hit, I'm, I don't know if you guys can hear it on the mic, but I am matching game B. I'm doing the childhood classic strategy. I'm trying to give all the power to the Pokeballs. You know what? Just because I've been throwing only Ultra Balls, let's throw a ball. Let's see. Maybe it is nighttime, and maybe it's like weird or something in the background or something. I don't know. Okay, apparently not. Doesn't like those balls, fair enough. Okay, it's wasting all this turn so far. It hasn't gone for Lesser Purge. The moment it goes for Lesser Purge, I'm pretty sure Gengar's gonna get one shot, because that move is very powerful. Alright, still no luck. There's another Dragon Buff. Okay, if I have a Photo Store, I'm gonna use it right here because I don't want to be paralyzed. I'm gonna try and put this thing back to sleep if I can. I am getting kind of low. Let's see. Do I have any full stores? I have a single full store. Okay, we'll take it. And we might. I, I'm not sure. Gengar's kind of frail, but we might live a lesser purge if we're at full HP. We are like almost 15 levels higher than this thing. Oh, time to find out. Pretty cool sound effect, I gotta say. And do we live? We actually live it pretty good. But it does lower special defense, so our next attack if we hit by is going to sting. So if I can put this thing to sleep before it does that, that'd be lovely. Okay, perfect. Back to sleep. Be a good boy. Go back to sleep. Which is actually kind of a fun fact I forgot to mention, but Latios and Latias are some of the few legendary Pokemon that actually have genders, because most of them are genderless. But Latios is always a boy, and Latias is always a girl. Fun trivia. Which means I can, if I want to be mad at this thing, I can always call it things that a boy would be called or something. I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. I just want to get, 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 get this thing in the Pokeball. As it wakes up. Perfect. Okay. In that case, uh, um, uh, I have four hyper potions. I'll use one. Because even though we're at minus one special defense, I think we'll barely live a lesser purge at this range. Like, from, oh, from only minus one. Now, these dragon breaths are going to start hurting now, though. Okay, go for hypnosis. We land again. Okay, can't complain about the hypnosis hit rate. We've hit like 75% of them. Not bad. What I can complain though is that this thing has like only shook it once. Come on. Get in the ball for Papa. Come on. He does not like the, uh, the term Papa, which is fair enough. Wakes up, goes for refresh. You know what? Screw it. Let's go for a normal Pokeball. Maybe, maybe I'll like this more, you know? Maybe I'll remind him of its sister, because its sister's like red and white. It did not like that. Okay. If I had a great ball, I'd use it now, because it's a perfect match of colors for Latios, but unfortunately, we do not, so... We'll make the move Ultra Balls. This thing refuses to shake. Oh my god. Another Dragon Breath. Gonna hurt, but we should be okay unless it gets a critical hit, which I probably just jinxed. We do live, and we don't get paralyzed, okay? It's pretty cool. Dragon Breath has like a very high paralysis chance, it's like 30%, so... I kind of always expect it whenever I see a Dragon Breath come out, but, you know. I will gladly take not getting paralyzed. Go 
goes for... Protect again, okay. Double protect, fair enough, fair enough. As long as it's not killing me, I can't complain, you know. He goes for a triple protect, but thankfully doesn't get it. And all he's doing is protect. It can just drag on even longer, I see. Okay. Back to sleep you go. Let's go for another Ultra Ball. I got 16, 16 left. It's a good chance we can catch it if the game wants to be nice to me. It does not want to be nice to me. Can you just get in the freaking ball? I'm getting mad, okay? I've been looking for you for like 40 minutes. All you're gonna do is sit in my PC box. You're not even gonna be a part of the team. I don't even like you that much of a legendary Pokemon. So could you please just get in the ball? Do me a favor. Come on. Okay, fine. Screw you too. <laughs> Uh, please. I just want to be done with this. Come on. I'm probably something like a broken record at this point, but that's because I am mentally. Get in the stupid baseball. I want to never have to look for a Roman Legendary Pokemon again. It's not even shaking for me anymore. It's not mad with me. Dragon Breath, I can live that, whatever. I'm kind of wishing I could have my Master Ball right now, but I can tell you right now, if I didn't have my Master Ball for Raikou, it would have been, been just as much of a pain in the butt as this thing. I'll go for a Dust Ball, you never know. Mix it up. Maybe it likes Dust Balls more or something. I don't know. It does not. Oh my god, this lady is being a pain in the ass. Oh my god, this thing refuses to shake at all. Holy crap. We should live. Don't get crit, please. That's all I ask. I bet a good boy is here. There you go. And we're only down to our last hyper potion here, so Gengar's gonna die soon. Thankfully, he hasn't gone for any luster purges, which would probably kill me in one shot, but, you know, I'm not having very much luck otherwise, so at least I get lucky in the one group. In one area, you know? Can be completely unlucky, just mostly unlucky. One. Okay, progress. Progress. Ladios, keep it up, okay? I believe in you. You got the ball to shake once. I believe in you. You can shake it three times and stay in, okay? I believe in you. Paralyze me? I don't care. Whatever, that's fine. Come on. You got one shake. Give me two, baby. One. Okay, one once again. I'll take it. It's better than what we had before. Getting low in Ultra Balls, though. That's kind of a problem. We only got nine left. Nope. Okay, uh... Pokeball? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. One... Okay, one again. It likes one apparently. It's stuck on one. It does. It refuses otherwise. I'm gonna have to use my last hyper potion here. Not good, but it's better than dying. And in case it wasn't obvious at this point, uh, if you use Milik on a Pokemon, you switch out your Pokemon. The Milik will no longer be in effect, which is why I'm staking you with Gengar. Because believe me, if I could switch into like Mamoswine or something to take all this thing tits, I would definitely be doing that over Gengar. And here it comes. Oh God. We might be dead. Uh, we're dead. Uh, come on, we have one last chance. We have one more chance. Please, uh, Despion, get in there. Please, just get in the ball. Come on. Do it for me. For the one time, as they say. One. Oh my god, I hate you, Latios. I hate you so freaking much. Oh my god. For a second, I thought we ran into it again. <laughs> that would have been incredible. Oh, Latios, you suck so much. Oh my god. I'll be right freaking back. I gotta go stock up on everything because we kind of burned everything on that encounter. We'll be right back.
Okay, after another 20 minutes, I finally found it again. Latios, I'm not even gonna play around anymore. I'm actually pissed. Get over here and get in the goddamn ball. I'm done playing games. No, don't- no. Oh my god, I swear to god, if I look for it again, I'm gonna scream. I just bumped my desk because I moved my hand too fast. I'm sorry that calling the mic. Oh my god, please, Latios, just get over here. I don't wanna play this game anymore. I hate Roman Legionaries with a passion. And you, my friend, are why. Okay. This time, we're doing this. I don't care. I'm not playing games, Latios. Before, I was being nice. I hate you. And I'm ending this right now. Get me looked and get in the freaking ball. Oh my god. Anyways. I really, really, really hope they never bring this back to a Pokemon game. I'm pretty sure this is the last time this Pokemon ever had the Roman Legendary Pokemon. And thank God, <laughs> I do not enjoy them whatsoever, if it wasn't obvious enough. And as you can see here, I actually did a little bit of prep work off screen. I decided it's probably best for my Gengar to be holding the leftovers, that way I can actually heal off a little bit of damage every turn. So I don't have to heal as much, you know, when I'm trying to catch the Pokemon. I thought it'd be a pretty smart idea. I also bought 20 Hyper Potions and a crap ton of Ultra Balls and a good amount of Great Balls, so we should be a-okay in terms of that. Doesn't change the fact that my sanity is being tested right now and I want to strangle this thing. But we'll get to that when I catch it. Okay, hypnosis landed. There we go. Progress. Put it to sleep. I've been here for a freaking hour. This recording is at, at the current moment a minute and like... Not, not a minute. A freaking hour and five minutes long. I wish it was a minute long because that means we already caught this thing. But we are going to do this today. I don't care how long it takes. I'm here for the long haul. It's you and me, Latios. I'm going to punch you in the throat when this is done. <laughs> Anyways, I'll, I'll stop rambling on. You know, I just gotta keep it cool, you know, even though I'm going insane. I just gotta keep it cool, you know? We got Raikou, we got Entei, this will be fine. I'm not mad, you're mad. Who would be mad? Me? I'm not mad. One. Okay. Why is it always ones and nothings? Why have we not got a single two or three yet? This is kind of weird. But it's okay. As you can see, my level numbers plane is working out greatly. We're getting all of our HP back while it's wasting its turns on throwing Pokeballs, so it's a-okay. And we probably won't get a special defense drop. I don't know the chance on that, but I don't think it's too great, so we should probably be a-okay from Lesser Purge, unless, get, unless we get really unlucky again. But I don't think it's that high of a chance. It's probably like 20% of our guess. Once again, it's gonna hurt, but we should be fine. Don't get a critical hit on you, I swear to god. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Won't lie to you, I'm probably being stupid by not going to catch a Wobbuffet, because Wobbuffet will definitely be extremely helpful in this battle. It gives you basically a second mean looker, but you know. We're doing what we got, because I believe in my team, and we can do this with Gengar. But my god, am I, is my patience being tested by trying to do it my way? Also, let me put this thing back to sleep. If I can hit that is. It's just going crazy lots of purge this time. Last time I like barely used it, but this time it's going all in apparently. There we go. No special defense shot. Perfect. And while I would love to risk it for the hypnosis, honestly, if I goes for a second lesser purge, I just instantly die, so we should just not risk it and heal up. <sighs> it doesn't also help that. Autumn has been really freaking hot lately. Like, we've been having a heat wave the last year. Oh my god, how can you stop using Lesser Purge? It's the fourth one. Holy crap. Yeah, as I was saying, it's actually really hot in my room right now as I'm recording this. Because it has been, have, we've had, had a heat wave for like the last week in Ottawa. It has not been fun. So that's probably not helping my anger. But my god, this Latios is driving me insane. I think the only thing that was as bad as this thing, like all of my Let's Plays of Pokemon, was trying to catch freaking Rayquaza and Pokemon Emerald. Which, granted, I tried to catch Rayquaza really freaking early on because of how that game works. You can catch Rayquaza way earlier than you probably intended to. So, that was definitely part of it, but like, good god. That was terrible, and this is probably just as bad because of the fact it's roaming. Rayquaza, which was just hard, but this was just a nightmare. A nightmare that will end right now. Oh. Okay, I'll take two. You know what? I'll take two. For a second, I thought I called it. <laughs> that would have been freaking fantastic. I will take it, though. We got two. And you know what, Latios? Just because it's matching your color, I'll give you a great ball. Because you're great, or something like that. 
It's not appreciated flattery. Okay, screw you two. <laughs> okay, come on. I'm a broken record at this point because I've been at this for like an hour at this point. Please get in the ball. No, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. As long, at least it's sleeping for a while, you know? I'll appreciate that at least. We're at 32 Ultra Balls, one of these is going to catch you. I don't care. We'll be here all day if we have to. We finally did it! Oh, I can eat my chicken wings in peace after this! Oh my god, it's over! We finally got it! I am sorry if I spiked the mic at any point in that, but freaking finally, dude! We finally got it! Oh my god! <laughs> Latios, the Eon Pokemon, Dragon Psychic type, also known as Annoying type. It understands human speech and is highly intelligent. It is a tender Pokemon that dislikes fighting. Maybe it heard me talking all the anger in the world about it, and that's why I didn't want to get in the ball. But you know what? Screw you, Latios. That took way too long. <laughs> yeah. Jokes aside, though, I do actually like Latios. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. But man. And you know what, Latios? Because of all the trouble you gave me, I'm going to call you... The only thing you deserve to be called at this point. I can think of way worse, but I'll be nice. You're a butthead. Holy crap. Finally got it over with. Jeez, that took a long time. Literally an hour. But there you go. Reason why I hate freaking roaming Pokemon Exhibit A this entire video. But it's finally over. We don't have to do this ever again. At least in this game. When I get to the Gen 4 Let's Play, we'll definitely have to. But we'll, that's a topic for another time. Anyway, let's take a look at a new Pokemon, shall we? Latios, also known as Butthead. This thing is Dragon Psychic type, like I mentioned. Has the Levitate ability, which means it's immune to ground type moves. And as we're going to see by its stats over here, it is pretty powerful and also pretty fast, as you can see. It's the offensive out of the two, like I mentioned before. So if you're getting Latios instead, I mean, if you're getting Latias instead, yours will probably have less special attack and less speed because it's going to be more bulky in, in return. But yeah, overall, pretty cool Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, not the most, uh, fun to catch. Just put it like that. That being said, though, I definitely think we've done enough for today. I'm hungry. I want to go eat some food. But we did it. We caught ourselves a legendary roaming Pokemon in Latios. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed my freaking frustration. And next time, Pokemon Soul Silver. I think we're done looking around at side quests. We're going to get back on our gym hunting adventures and go look out for another Pokemon gym. And we'll probably be head heading down over to this area is what I'm thinking next. That being said, see you guys then.